it's time for us to delve into the spiritual conversations that we spoke to you earlier about and it's all about the tap conference and this conference has been happening all over the i mean for the what since January, I must say, uh, I met this man and he's been telling me that he's been having this conference and it's been very successful and I can assure you that anybody who has been at uh, this conference or has been a part of this conference has been blessed and you cannot miss it. I have Prophet Echo Daniels here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well by God's grace I and can your tell. prayers. And you're not sleeping as well. <laughs> uh, God is helping us. Uh, I'm trusting God that in future I can become like you and, and sleep. Hey, really? I sleep. <laughs> I, I, I sleep mean, in terms of success, you know. You, a amen to that. Yeah. Amen yes. to that. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we aim lady. for more, though. Exactly. But amen exactly. to that. Now, you've been doing Top Conference for a while now. What edition is this one? So, um, as a ministry, we've yeah. been running our conferences for the past three years. Uh, we just turned three in, in the month of May, and then we've been doing TAP conference uh, since that three years. So this is the third edition of our numerous conferences we've been doing. And uh, by the grace of God, like you mentioned, anybody who's ever joined any of our conferences, not even just singling out uh, TAP conference, you would never remain the same. Yes, exactly. Now, you know, um, people are of the opinion that almost every fine boy, young guy is going to, <laughs> to the pastoral thing. Is it like, what is calling on the fine boys or what's, go what's going on? Oh, that, is, there's money in there. <laughs> well, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if most of the fine boys or fine men are, are coming into ministry. I, I think that uh, God is realizing that it's, it's also a, a good opportunity for ministry and for the image of ministry to also have people uh, who are by the grace of God good very good looking uh, you know over the years people have very funny uh, mentality when it comes to ministry when we talk about um, a pastor they think oh your half of your shoe has to be you know uh, worn out or your, your 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 suit is so big and then that describes a proper holy heaven going man of God you understand but we are trusting God to actually change that, that perception. It's not about money. Every, I was telling somebody yesterday that every profession that is a true call, you would be successful financially. Mm. It's just a matter of time. So it's not just about me. Ministry is actually not a very nice place financially. It's not? It, but we see all the me. riches. We see the cars you people drive mm. and the clothes you are wearing and all the designer. What car do I drive? Oh, no. But <laughs> <laughs> we, see, we see it. <laughs> you know, you know uh, I think that I, I've worked in a lot of corporate institutions by the grace of God. And, and so I'm not just coming into ministry mm -hmm. as, as one born into it. I've said over, over the time that I was born a Muslim and, and also you would understand that in all the fields that I have gained experiences from, I think working for God is, is the best. It's, it's one opportunity and one, one privilege that people will yearn for and die for. So if you're working for your boss, you, uh, you, you are doing so well in your life, you work for uh, your boss, I think you're paid well, well, I don't know, <laughs> but I think you're paid well. So if you work for God, he's surely going to bless you spiritually and then it's going to manifest physically if you understand what i mean and so uh it's not that when you come into ministry you you make money I, when we tell our true stories and i'm using true because pastors weep a lot but they always keep a smiley face for the congregation Some pastors, you know the bible says that we should be you know wary of false prophet and that in end times we'll see a lot of them rise up mm. how am i able to tell that you are not a false prophet and so i have to be at top conference so i can be blessed so um, when, when people talk about end time i don't i don't necessarily understand what they mean uh, false prophet have been around since bible time and since since bible times you would realize that Every time there is, okay, in another adage, we'll say, wherever God builds his church, the, the devil builds a tent. You understand? So, false prophets have always been there. They will always be there. It's the same as every other job or every other career. There are always the bad nuts in it. It doesn't necessarily mean that everybody who is a man of God is not a, is not a, a very good man of God. But by, the Bible says that by their fruits, you shall know them. Mm -hmm. God is in every man. As you sit here with me, you, you have God in you. You have a spirit in you that can discern. You understand? So learn to discern by people's spirit and then study the character 
that comes along with, with what they are doing. With time, you will know that what kind of fruit is this man of God bearing? What kind of uh, uh, impact is he making? Speak to people that are under his governance. Then you would know if the person is actually godly or ungodly. You, you, cannot, you cannot hide character. You understand? And, and ministry goes beyond giftings and anointings. Characters are very important. So uh, if, if, I'm, if I'm a false prophet, I, I would never be sitting here. I, I, I don't believe that Joy Prime hosts false prophet. You understand? <laughs> and so yes, um, yes, by their fruit and by your discerning spirit, you should be able to tell that this is right and this is this wrong. Is wrong. Now let's talk about TAP conference, which mm -hmm. is happening from the 25th of October to 30th of October. Now we've been able to establish that, you know, they are false prophets, but this is not a false prophet. You are not. And of course, the men that you are gathering for this event mm -hmm. are definitely not false prophets. Mm -hmm. And we will not go home the same, but rather we will be blessed. That's Tell right. us about what to expect. So TAP conference 2023 is, the theme for this year is beauty for ashes. And I'm saying that, you know, when, when the year begins, people have plans, they have resolutions, they write it down, they put it under their pillow and so that they can enter their spirit. And uh, they are hoping that uh, by the time the year will end, they would have achieved all these plans. But you see, Bible says that many are the plans of a man, but only the purpose of the Lord will stand. Maybe you have not achieved what you're trusting God for. We're saying that God is still able to restore. God does not need years. He does not need months. He needs your, your time in his presence under the right anointing. And, and let, me, let me say that again, under the right anointing. Because there are times you're praying, but your anointing or the anointing upon your life is not able to bring to pass that which you're praying for. Mm. And a typical example is Daniel. The prophet Daniel is praying. And the Bible says that the prince of Persia blocks the answer. And so it required an archangel to come and release the answer. Those are understandings of the anointing. And beautiful ashes is that no matter what you're going through in life, no matter what you have been, God is still able to turn the story around. And this conference is put together, especially for people who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, you know, for, okay. for, for pregnancy, because the men of God on the bill are heavily anointed mm. for these kind of matters. So maybe you are trusting God for, for children, for, for the fruit of the womb, you are, you are trusting God for godly marriage, not just any marriage, any marriage. you know, but godly marriage. And you're, you're praying for business, you know, financial breakthrough. Life is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Anything that has not happened spiritually will not manifest physically. So under this government, we have Prophet Paul Kwekuni Okai. If you're a prophetic student, mm -hmm. you know that Prophet Paul Kwekuni Okai of Manfi Prayer Camp, he's a heavyweight. He's one of the greatest prophet this country will ever have. And then we have uh, Bishop Prince Ohini Asari, one, one great, 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 great prophet of Ghana, and uh, Prophet Selassie Adai. All these uh, men of God are coming from 25th October to the 30th October. 25th October to the 30th October, 6 p.m. each night. Okay. You know, 6 p.m. each night at the Vice Chancellor's Office Complex, uh, UPSA. So whatever you're going through, your business, your marriage, spiritual attacks, sicknesses and diseases, if you've been to Manfred Prayer Camp, you see mad people. Mm. You see strange sicknesses Get being healed, being healed mm. by, by this great man of God. So is this free of charge? Yeah, we don't tap. Uh, Royal Time Ministries do not charge for our, our uh, conferences. I, okay. I need to make that clear. We don't charge. People go around using our flyers and saying we are charging. They edit the flyer and put a fee and all that. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we don't charge. It's, it's completely free. And let me use this platform to say that um, Prophet Ecuador Daniels is not on social media to beg for money or to ask any lady for money. Some people the are... The ladies? Lazy. Yeah. Some they go are, to the ladies? Yeah. They're too funny. Why would they go to the ladies with your face? <laughs> by, by, by the grace of God. <laughs> so some people are using my pictures to scam ladies, taking money from them. Uh, we are getting complaints every day, and it's getting tiring, and, and, and it's frustrating. So we are saying that Prophet Echo Daniels would not come on social media to ask you for money. Please, I, I have supporters who are helping me. <laughs> Thank you so much. So please be careful out there. And our number, if you want to contact yes, uh, the ministry, our number is 0244-856-983. 0244-856-983. God bless everyone. And I'm expecting, especially the youth, you know, my heart 
is after the youth. I've been there, I've seen it all, I've done it all, and I'm saying that it is all possible with Jesus. It is all possible with Jesus. Thank you so much. And let me say a very big thank you to Tima. You know, the Royal Time Ministries is partnering with uh, Be Inspired by Tima. So God bless you. And Rosalind, God bless you all God bless for, you for all the support behind <laughs> the scenes. God bless you, too, and thank mm. you for being here. Of course, we will be there. We hope to see you there. It's from mm. the 25th of this month to the 30th of this month. So don't think that it's next month. It's this month. Actually, it's Monday, right? 25th no, is? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. So 25th Wednesday. is Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, to the 30th. So let's see you all there. Thank you so much for being here. Prophet, I call Daniel. Thank you so much super, for having me. Super, super grateful that you could make it.